Well, if you're a fan of a good scare, there are several haunted attractions throughout our area, one of which added a new section this year called the Swamp of Sorrow. Hellstead Manor in Halstead, Pennsylvania is a real house built in 1851 that was adapted into a haunted attraction. Hellstead kicked off the spooky season this past weekend and will be open on Fridays and Saturdays from 7 to 11 p.m. through October 28th. Customers walk through the original rooms of the house before transitioning outside into the wretched woods, the Cannabillies encampment, and the newest addition, the Swamp of Sorrows. The owner, Eric Lusk, says that the house itself has a creepy history, so you never really know what's fact or fiction. That's our one goal, is to, is to scare people. We're not here trying to give you movie themes. You know, there's no Freddy's or Jason's or any of that crawling around in the woods. It's all our own stuff. Um, and I think, to me, that's, that's just, there's a little more integrity in, in the haunt that way. Lusk says that there are around 100 actors throughout the experience that will interact with you. He says it generally takes 45 minutes to an hour to complete the full loop. Tickets are $38 per person and can be purchased at the door or online at hellsteadmanor.com. Governor Hochul is deploying an additional 150 National Guard members to help with the ongoing migrant crisis. This will total over 2,000 National Guard members on the Asylum Seeker mission. News Channel 34's Amel Taliji tells us how the state intends to expand its resources. States all across uh, the country are encouraging voters to get registered before upcoming fall elections. New York is no different. If you'd like to sign up to vote, there are some qualifications such as being a U.S. citizen, are 18 years old, and are a resident of the state, county, city, or village for 30 days before the election. One way to register is by filling out information on the State Board of Elections portal. You also can register in person at your county board or at a number of New York State agencies where we have agency-based registration. They can register at the DMV. You can fill out a form and uh, mail it in. In order to cast your ballot in this year's general election on November 7th, your county board of elections must have your application by October 28th. Local offices are up in this odd year. Uh, and then as we move in to uh, next year, we'll have a presidential primary in the state. We'll have state and local primaries. And then we'll also have the uh, general election next November. So lots of opportunities to vote throughout 2024. Erica Smitka with the League of Women Voters says in a democracy, everyone has a voice. And so that's what we want is for each and every person to, to go out and use their vote and, and let their voice, uh, voice be heard. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. Apologies on the subject mis, uh, mishap there. We had a wrong video roll for the wrong story. Apologies. The News Channel 34 mobile app has been redesigned. Our new app features a sleek and modern design with an easy-to-navigate home screen that gives quick access to local news and the storm team weather forecast. Subscribing to notifications is easier than ever, and with just one tap, you have access to those notifications. There are more ways to watch and to find video, and accessing local stories is easier than ever. So download or update our News Channel 34 app today. And when we come back, we'll tell you who's been selected as the Greater Binghamton Chamber's Business of the Week. You're watching Binghamton News on News Channel 34.